Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, who was and is and is to come. He is the Lord, God Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, it's been a pretty painful Sabbath. Only got about four or five hours of sleep, so I've been sort of in this in this uh, mental brain fog, and just my mind's not been working right. But uh, I was able to gather that uh, there has been some sort of emergency uh, warning or emergency alert from the White House that there's some sort of possible uh, cyber attack or malware that's been implanted, I guess, in some uh, military bases around the United States, possibly, which could cause blackouts, okay? So here we're seeing more threats of blackouts, and I think they might have said that this, you know, computer virus could be from China. I'm not sure. You'll have to double-check me on that one. But, it, you know, it, who knows? It could be from our own people because we know that the Luciferians are, you know, in pretty much every established government in the world. And uh, they want to bring down the system. They want to bring in the Great Reset so that they could bring order out of chaos. Now, this really reminds me of an older movie. It's called uh, Dragon Day. And in that movie, they uh, they basically uh, talk about some sort of uh, Chinese cyber virus, which works like an EMP. And the cyber cyber and virus is embedded in all the chips that come from overseas, and it basically takes down every electronic device. And then uh, basically China takes over and establishes a new world order. And you have to wear a bracelet from the government in order to buy or sell or to get supplies. If you haven't seen that movie, it might be worth a watch, okay? I think it's about to become reality. Now me here, I live in, uh, in a major city in California. And uh, it would probably take me about four or five days of straight walking just to get out of the city if there was some sort of chaotic grid down event uh, which would not be that would not be ideal and uh, my mom's in no shape to be walking anywhere uh, but you know who knows how things will go but I do know that uh, it's going to be chaos in the big cities if there is a blackout and I'm just hoping and praying that there is uh, the rapture of the church before this uh, sort of uh, blackout event, okay? And God is allowing this to happen because we've turned away from Him. We have forsaken His commandments. We have forsaken His ways. We have gone after false religions. We have kicked them out of the schools. We're now teaching children that they could play, you know, this game where they could just be whatever they want to be. They could chop off all their body parts. And, you know, five years down the line, they'll be absolutely, you know, in pain and in mental distress and even more problems, okay? So I'm just saying that America is so far gone, I think God has given the people over to a reprobate mind and that you know he's allowing judgment to take place he's allowing these things to go forth because america has fallen so far it's like have you ever played that game limbo okay that's a game where you line up with your friends you see how far you can go and uh, they keep lowering the bar and whoever can go the lowest wins okay 
Well, I think America has won that game. Okay, America has fallen so far that other countries are laughing at us. Okay, they are absolutely laughing at us as we are trying to have men have babies. We're, we're telling uh, people that, you know, God's covenant between man and woman and producing children that way is just nonsense. They would rather, you know, grow their babies in a test tube. Okay, these other countries are laughing at us. We have been given over to a reprobate mind. And this whole limbo game, it doesn't just happen right away. Satan has been lowering the bar of moral standards and, and decency for a long time now. Okay, over the last hundred years, America has declined and declined and declined. And now we're at a point where if you turn on any you know major music television uh, channel, you're going to see half-naked women dancing on a stripper pole and guys rapping about drugs and sex and every unimaginable thing, okay? So we've absolutely turned everything upside down. We are now exalting that which is evil and God has just had enough. Okay, not to mention all the sorcery that the guys in the white lab coats are pumping into the veins of all the people. Anyhow, time is very short, brothers and sisters. Jesus said, let us watch and pray that we are counted worthy to escape all that is to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, 36. And shalom until next time. Amen.